What's up, everyone? It's that man. you. Welcome back to another video. Today, um, I, I did post this on my community tab. I would be going over my gaming computer uh, once everything came in, or once the video card came in, and I had it installed, which it came in a few days ago, but I had to do other stuff, like work and all that. But now that I'm free today, because it's New Year's Eve, and I'm probably going to be posting this today or whenever it gets edited, probably not soon, but... Mm. I do have my laptop right here so I can read off everything and that took a lot longer because for some reason Chrome didn't want to open so I had to reinstall it. Anyway, let's get on with it. So, we've got my case and everything installed. Laura Parchment uh, or one came over and helped me. I'll be leaving a link to links to everything I bought down below. This was upwards of $975 to $1,000 for this entire thing. And uh, that was my summer. So yeah. So that I bought everything and then he came over and helped me install it and that took about 3 hours. He's also coming back over to help me get... Windows installed because apparently that's a complicated process. I didn't know that for some reason and uh, I'm dumb. Anyway, doesn't matter. Okay, so So right here we've got a cooling fan under that is my CPU which is it's a AMD Ryzen 5 2600 3.4 gigahertz 6 core processor. So that's my CPU right there Next we have my motherboard which is a gigabyte B450M DS3H micro ATX AM4 motherboard So that's this that's the everything's connected to back here uh, and then next we have Corsair Vengeance RGB. That's my RAM right there. That's also, that's RGB. RGB uh, means red, green, blue. And it means it can like those little, like these strips on top right here. They light up in different colors and stuff like that. Which is, you don't need RGB. It just looks cool and I had, I had extra money. The only RGB things I have are my, are my keyboard right here. Which is a Razor Ornata keyboard with the wrist rest right here. As you can see right here. And uh, the case, which is amazing, and then uh, the top of this, oh gosh, I almost fell, this right here, I think also lights up, that way you see that gigabyte at, boom. Yeah, but that is, uh, the, each of those are 8 gigabytes of RAM, and uh, so that's 16 gigabytes. Now, I do want to point out something, if you'll notice, you look at those uh, strips right there where they're connected, uh, one is gray, two of them are gray, and two of them are black. This is a pro tip when you're building uh, computers, if you're ever thinking about doing this, because I am. Um, if you have only two of them, then you need to plug them into the same color. Uh, lower portion went ahead and plugged them both into black right there because that's the reason RAM comes in pairs of two because you can't just plug in one into black and one into gray because it won't work like that. Neither of them will. Anyway, uh, on with it right here. If you can see that. We, that is a Seagate Barracuda 2 terabyte 3.5 7,200 RPM internal hard drive. So that is going to be like my bulk storage like System32 and all that kind of stuff. Uh, next, we have my next piece of storage, which you can see right there where it says Crucial. That's my gaming storage. That is a, uh, what is that say? Crucial MX500, 500 gigabyte, uh, M.2, 2,280 um, 2, solid state drive, or SSD for short. That's what SSD stands for, solid state drive. Uh, next, we have this part. Okay, Amazon kind of screwed me on this because this thing actually got lost, and I had to reorder it, and it took me about an hour to install it because I don't know how to do this kind of stuff. Lower parchment kind of gave me a video on how to do it and that explained it for the most part. But um, also we had to, there was some parts right here. We had to have to take those off. There were these metal strips that usually unscrew. We had to get a knife and a bottle opener to get those off, which was actually hilarious. I just got a notification. Um, but yeah, that is a Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1666 Gigabyte Gaming OC video card. And that's gonna be holding the majority of my games and all that kind of stuff. It's also RGB. Next, we have a Thermaltake V200 RGB ATX mild tower case. That's 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 the case. That's the case essentially. Okay, and then my power supply, which is Corsair, uh, Corsair VS550 W80 plus certified ATX power supply, right there. For some reason, the board's on the bottom, which is kind of weird. I don't know if you can see that. I don't think you can. And then over here, uh, uh, my monitor. We have an Acer SB220Q BI21.5 19. 20 by 1080 75 hz monitor so that's my monitor my keyboard i, I, I just a razor or not a keyboard so all of this together cost uh, like i said about one thousand dollars it was 978 because it was 900 originally then i had to buy a keyboard and that was about 75 dollars i was like yeah, i'll have extra money i'll spend on the keyboard but yeah so i do want to also bring a message with this video is that hard work pays off i worked all summer to get this for you guys because i wanted to make better videos for you because my laptop right here, it's CPU can't run OBS, and I just don't like it. Doesn't run OBS at a bit rate I want to at, at 60 FPS and 30 FPS. Just me, just looks choppy and kind of bad. I just wanted to. I didn't want to like make. 
I don't want to crank out like bad like I I don't want to crank out quantity content, quant quantity call content and not quality because I'd rather go I prefer quality over quantity content. So all my games like Minecraft, Shell Shock Live, TOS, anything else that um I want to play with my friends will be also on here. Um, but yeah, so videos will be coming on here. I'm still gonna use my laptop to edit, which is gonna take a long time to render faster than this thing because of CPU. But I don't want to have to reinstall Vegas on here when I already have it installed on here. But that's essentially all I got, guys. All right, guys. So we're back, and um, I actually uh I actually um had to. I unplugged the computer in the back, and as you can see, there's glass on it now. The reason it's glass is so you can see all the RGB stuff inside when you're playing games and stuff like that. But uh, I did unplug it, so uh, nothing bad happened. So behind my Christmas tree out there, which I still have up for some reason, uh, I have it plugged in now, and we're going to turn it on. Because this thing, honestly, uh, when Laura Parchment was building it, he said the RGB stuff, what, there wasn't a port for it on the motherboard. And the reason for that is because it was already plugged into the tower. So all you had to do is get the tower power and boom, it turns on. But basically, the power button's right here. We're going to turn this thing on. And like I said, there's four RGB things. Keyboard, which it has a little bit of delay on it. There's some fans on the front. I actually have... <laughs> We have one. We have a cooling fan right there. One on the CPU. There's three right there, and then there's three in there. So I have eight cooling fans. That's a lot of fans. And then it does filter. Anyway, that's just basic stuff. But basically, we got our RAM. We got our uh, video card, and then we got these fans in the front. So three, two, one, boom. Look how cool this is. This is amazing. As you can see, we got our RAM that lights up. We got Gigabyte. I was wrong on that. It lights up on the side. Why do I think it light up on the top? Don't ask. Uh, and then I got these fans in the front, which change colors. And then I got my keyboard right here, which looks amazing. But um, basic. Oh gosh, my finger just slipped. Basically, you can actually download things. I have to download Thermal Take because that's the brand of the case, as I said. And then I've got to download um, Gigabyte Corsair Hand Razor so I can change the colors of all these at once. And I gotta download Steam and. Um, yeah, a bunch of other stuff. But basically, guys, videos are coming soon. He's going to try to come back sometime in the next two months because today is New Year's Eve. So January, February, at the latest, I should have it. But basically, guys, I don't think I'll do an update video. I'll just start posting Minecraft on my main channel and then other kind of stuff on my other channels. But yeah, guys, videos are coming soon on a new gaming, uh, this new gaming computer that I had. Like I said, hard work pays off. If you if you like if you have a job or if you can get a job, because I'm only I'm I was 16 when I got my job. I'm 17 now. My birthday was last month, and then I, I saved up all the money I made over summer for this. But honestly, that is what I spent it on. Now I did I did make a like I uh, made more money on my job, but I had to spend it on gas and other things and all that. But otherwise, eh, getting off topic. But guys, if you did enjoy, like I said before, like, comment, subscribe. I said that because I forgot that I had to say it, or I forgot I had to turn the computer on and show you. Because I said I was going to do that, but um, yeah. So if you did enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, and you know, um, share this video with your friends, your family. If your friend is like, oh man, is he ever going to upload again? Oh yeah, he's got a new gaming computer, you know, if you didn't see it or anything like that. But uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. But until next time, keep the lava flowing, and goodbye.